only possible because of your support to the stream. Penis man appears. Actually, hit smash that sub button. <laughs> Jesus. Are you, are you, you guys? Been... You guys if like you've been enjoying all of these penis understand? mans, make sure to uh, to drop that like drop, drop a sub. A, drop a sub so you can penis with your man too. Yeah. Ten. Anyway. This could be us, but you're playing. All right, so we're on battlefield. Zircon versus Hydra. Um, <laughs> as I alluded to. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to put it away. You need to put it away. We're on the clock. <laughs> Anyway, Come on. So yeah, this is going to be a living hell for Zircon. Uh, we've already seen how solidly Hydra is with his gameplay, uh, but I'm sure Zircon, being a Tri-State Smash player, no stranger to this matchup whatsoever. So I have to imagine that he has some counterplay in the back pocket. Yeah, but he should know better than to get up attack from the ledge as well. Yeah, no. Really bad get up attack. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are the big yikes. Big yikes. You know, I feel like no matter how much Palutena practice you have. It doesn't make the matchup suck any less. No, it doesn't. It's it's like you can study as hard as you can for a test, but if you still suck at like like if you still suck at math, you know, you're probably gonna get like a C or something. Like, like it's, it's not, the, it's not gonna it's make same, it any easier for you. It's the same ten digits yeah. across a bunch of different placements. Exactly. And sometimes you do some different stuff to them, but it doesn't change a seven from being a seven. It it, it you know, what matters most is the player wielding Palutena in the situation, like and how well they'll know how to abuse the tools that make the matchup like a health fuck for you. I mean, it's not looking too fun for Zircon, although he no. is doing well to uh, abuse whenever Explosive Flame is misplaced, to use that as a cue to just go right in. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's, your, that's your entry. That's where, that's where the bouncer opens up the door for you and says, hey, come on in. <laughs> right this way. <laughs> Tried Fishing Rod right in front of the face bold. I think he wanted to try and maybe get the, the bounce off the shield or something to put it in place and lay a trap down. A little too early, but the Ooh. ledge drop into Nair right there. Very good by Zircon. Ooh, well, want me some of that. That was good. He tried getting the coverage off of the, the little window you could punish Palutena out of her um, teleport, and he kept momentum into a ledge drop. That was beautiful. Yeah, see, he's, he's, he's got some tech. Some I especially level. like it. He used the Nair in a way that, like, he took advantage of the fact that as well as Nair lifts itself a little bit higher than, like, it, most Nairs that are just lateral or circles. Mm -hmm. It was smart. Although he is on his last stock, though. Hydra doing a good job of cleaning up before he had to take any more collateral damage. But he is eating a lot Yo, of he's damage. He's eating the... damage, bro! Look at this! He's getting pelted! He's eating pellets for breakfast. This is OD. Is, they'll just join the Marines. Just sniping the hell out of them. Marksman, first class. All right, though, Hydra Isabel finally Johnson. finding his way back in. And Zircon kind of wrap it up. It, it, you know, against against the the villagers, you kind of want to be very shield heavy if you if you tend not to be uh, right in her face all the time. This could be curtains for Zircon if he doesn't manage and yeah. he the A button on his landing. And why are you doing that? Song? You know why you press the button? If you're above. If you're above Palutena, you better be pressing. The only button you should be pressing is the the bumpers, the triggers. The, the, the ones that make your character go into the, 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 the third dimension, or the fourth dimension, rather. The fourth dimension's time. Yeah, dude. Then, As in, it's time no. to air dodge. <laughs> it's time oh, I to hate air you. Dodge. I hate you. Everything you stand for. <laughs> I just kind of popping off this turn. It's crazy. All right, though. Are we going to see you a know, it's, only, it's only fitting that amongst the, uh, the complete hellscape that is Wi-Fi, that Apollotana finds their way into the top four. Two of them, in fact, actually. So I know Zircon has other characters in the pocket. I wonder if he's going to switch to his Inkling, or he's just going to ride it out Isabel's entire tournament. You know, hey, Isabel players. go game and watch. Ah, maybe. But hey, we're seeing no. him stick with the Isabel, though. Alright, ride or die with the girl. Hell yeah. Ride or die with your secretary, you know? She works hard for you, you gotta work hard for her. Tyrant City is the pick. All right. I, I, I dig it. It gives Zircon a little bit more breathing room and a little bit more options to land with the platforms being in place here, so I definitely dig it. That being said, though, Hydra already out the gate super duper hard. Already attacking 66 damage on my mans. I feel like I always see this as the stage that can counterpick against Palutena. Yeah, Palutena is able to operate on it just fine. 
Like, do you think there's any other stages that we could have seen potentially? I think Paolo just operates really well on most stages. I feel like he's, I don't know what stages she particularly struggles in. Like, it, it's she's like a very, you know, not not the flashiest character. She has a lot of basic options that do really great jobs. So I don't think there's any stage that like stunts her specifically. I could be wrong though. But he's looking good. He he's just keeping Zircon. Out. That being said, Zircon bringing it all the way back already from the, the, the very beginning. You know, once once this man has stage control, he is terrifying. Ooh, the reversal. The back all right, all right. All right. Oh no, missing the direction that the up smash is going to be in, or he just gets crossed up right there. For that, he's going to get yoked right off the stage to lose that first stock. A quick yutting. A quick... <laughs> oh, he's dead, oh, though. Oh, but a bad, bad direction air dodge. He did the, the baby blank. Alright, though. Just, okay. just a quick reminder that, you know, Wi-Fi is a no-man's land. doesn't matter how wired your connection is. I gotta note that Zircon's doing such a fantastic job of catching all these aggressive landings from Hydra. Hydra's gonna have to cool that, uh, because both both of these guys are, are are wisened up to the landing options that each character has. And Zircon's doing a great job of mixing it up with uh, both grab and uh, up tilt. That up tilt, I swear to God, can cure cancer. That thing is ridiculously good. That that might be the the, the key to cleaning up coronavirus. It is so good. <laughs> You just gotta sweep, sweep, sweep away, bro. <laughs> just sweep the coronavirus away. <laughs> She's like, my game is coming out in like 24 hours. I gotta beat your ass quickly, or I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. Yo, I really hope I'm gonna be able to pick up my copy. <laughs> You're fucked, bro. You should have ordered online. Yeah. I mean, it, no, I wasn't one to order. Don't it. air dodge like that. What are you doing? Hey, listen. He's listening to your advice from earlier. He <laughs> Hit the shoulder button. He's like, Wait, no, not like that. Not like that. You know, for an Isabel man, you should really know what's up, man. Yeah, man. There we go, though. Gotta... Zircon evening it up. It's so funny picturing both of these players just like sweating in front of their TVs, just like alone with no crowd in front of them or nobody watching them. They're just like in their room, Very like, concerned with, like anime music blaring in the background. I like to imagine that they're like calm as a cucumber. Like, this is just another day in the office for them. They're like yelling at their mom, Mom, I'll feed the dog in five minutes. I have to, I have to play this tournament match. The one thing I gotta give credit to Zircon for, he's, he's kept these past two games incredibly close for a matchup that's pretty severely lopsided. He almost died so, like, there again for uh, oh, dodging on the stage. Oh no! Man, man. No runoff though by Hydra just opting to stay on the stage, letting Zircon back on for free. That might bite him. Because it was clear that Zircon was just going straight up because Isabel's horizontal drift on her uppie isn't the greatest. So if, if, if he kind of threw this maybe by letting Zircon back on because Zircon is center stage control again. Although Hydra's playing from a far further distance than typical, and he's forcing Zircon to force the approach, which even though he's been doing a decent job of, Isabel just doesn't have the tools to really mix up how she's going to approach. So even with the high ground, like, he's not able to do enough. Zircon with the roll, just barely evading back on stage, and the up smash, is that going to take it? Yes, it does, yeah. <laughs> that was the way, up, up smash, spot dodge, up smash. And the only reason Hydra got hit by that was because he extended his hurt box by doing the up tilt. And Isabel's going to take that game. Yeah, you you have to make sure you can capitalize as much as you can off stage on your opponent. He let my man back for free and also just gave up the ledge right there. He had he had the trap right there, but he opted to roll back and just use explosive flame. I wonder what his thought process was there. That was low key kind of hype. That was kind of dope. I li I like seeing Isabel. You know, you don't get to see a lot of her because uh, a lot like, of people drop her. And you're like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! She said freeze. All right, Stop right and there, going sorry. into it for game three. It Isabel's patrolling the village. I mean, that's not her job. She's not. It is. Everyone's supposed to be quarantined right now. Palutena is out roaming around scot free. She owns the place. Okay. You know, I don't think Palutena can get any disease. Can Palu get the Rona? <laughs> Chat, press one if she I don't can think get she the Rona. Breathes. Press two if she can't get the Rona. She's the the goddess of light. Like, also, chilling. Also, Isabel's well, a dog. And we have already confirmed that that dog cannot can't catch the Rona. Can't catch the Rona. These are both super. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this? the other character in tonight's top four? Pac-Man. Can Pac-Man get the Rona? Pac-Man is a monster. Can Pac-Man <laughs> catch the Rona? 
<laughs> He's Yo, awesome. Mega Man can't get it. Mega Man is mechanical. DDD <laughs> can't get it. Villager probably. Can't we don't get know if Penguins can like, get the Rona. Villager's probably wealthy enough that he was able to get tested and properly quarantined. <laughs> tested or not, and doesn't then, stop him from getting from catching the Rona. I mean, he probably caught it, but he was also probably able to, like, afford it back. I mean, he's probably a racist, so he was just like, everyone get away from me. Well, he's he's out at, he's out at fifth place, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then exposure. some guy, Pichu... Hey, rats carry disease. They can carry the Rona. Animal Crossing is mice. They have mice villagers. Yeah, there, there are mice villagers. You know what? I think our top eight is just a story. It is a, it's a really modern tale. <laughs> Because the only her dog. <laughs> no, oh no, not that, not that modern. <laughs> no, the dog's biting back, man. The dog, dog is biting. He's this not is her turf. Isabel probably works for like minimum wage. She, she's overworked. She only sleeps one hour a night. Believe it or not. She's a Marxist. You know, I'm just saying. I don't remember ever paying Isabel. I don't remember signing any checks. So she probably, even get paid. She probably just gets dog treats or something. Well, hold on now. That's just racist. How Actually, that might you? not be racist, but that definitely sounds like racist? something that I'm not. I'm not approving of that. <laughs> I'm seeing all these Isabel emotes in chat. I need to drop my phone. All right, uh, fan okay. nine S with the humble flex. We're again. joining, bros. All right, though. Speaking of humble flexes, right now. Uh, Hydra's flexing pretty hard right now on my man's Mr. Zircon. He cannot get out of this one. Trying to aggressively find his way down. He's got to really be careful with that because he could die off the top uh, if, if Hydra catches him mashing an, an offensive option. I mean, this is Palutena on Smashville. This is paradise for her. Mm -hmm. I feel like every stage is paradise for her, except for maybe... No, but like especially Smashville, because Smashville, she gets the low cancel like crazy. She gets to control all the space for free. From ledge to ledge or center stage, there's just so much room for her to control so easily. Zircon also really over... trying to fight his way though out of this one. He is at 80. It's pretty, pretty kill percent for uh, for young doggo. I don't think I don't know if he could die that early outside of like oh, he can. or some crazy cool read. But like, it does put him in danger because he's constantly forced to approach on Hydra, and every time he does, he's eating damage or he's losing stage control. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, Zircon had a pretty bad habit that of rolling was a for most of the time. Look at that! Even with the dash forward on the delayed hit. That, so that up smash Ooh. is great. 